Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here, in case you missed last night's live stream. And by the way, it's going to always be on Sunday at 4 o'clock Eastern Time, United States. We discussed many things, and one of those subjects was a recent problem that someone experienced, where all of a sudden they kind of saw like what looked like green contamination just appearing in the sponge of a CLI-42 yellow cartridge that had just been refilled. How could that possibly happen? Well, there are many things that can go wrong when you are refilling. If you're not careful, you may actually swap photo magenta for magenta and vice versa, put it in the wrong cartridge. That means you would have to then flush that cartridge. The same thing can happen with your cyans, your photo cyan and your regular cyan. They're two different strengths. And of course, your grays and your black. You could make that mistake. All of this will require flushing. But here's what happened. And this one also will require flushing. This happened to have been a yellow cartridge, just like this one. It had a clip put on it. Okay, I don't know whether it was the original one or possibly a third-party clip like I have back here. But as they refilled the cartridge with yellow, they noticed that there was like green ink permeating the sponge. How could that happen? They were not careful. Apparently, they took off all of the clips, laid them out. They went ahead and reset the cartridge chip, put the clip back on it, and they put one that had a couple of drops of cyan ink on it. Of course, when yellow ink started to permeate the sponge, guess what? It created a nice, beautiful green tree-looking um, artifact. Yes, it was really, really interesting, the photo that I saw. It literally looked like broccoli growing out of the exit port of the cartridge. How to fix that? You got to flush the cart. There's no other way to get around that. Now, at least they got to see this before they actually, you know, inserted the cartridge back into the printer. Transparent cartridges and sponges will show any kind of contamination or cross-contamination. On a Pro 10 cartridge, PGI-72, that would be a shock because you would not know that happened, okay? If you had all your cartridges facing upward and you're filling them and you had all of your end clips laying on your table and you mistakenly took one that had a bit of some other color and you popped it on, say, Chroma Optimizer, guess what? You got to flush this card out. And this one doesn't flush as easy. You need a special adapter that you have to make yourself in order to allow you to suck the ink out, flush it with water with a syringe, and of course, extract the water and then fill it with the correct ink. Again, so just be careful. Do not set up everything in one area and just start refilling everything without really thinking. Assume that you're the biggest dummy in the world. I'm the biggest dummy in the world because I have done this, but just assume that. Get rid of all of your ego. Set two isolated areas, one for your cartridges and bottles, and then one for actually working. Take your yellow empty cartridge or, or low. You will know there will be some yellow ink still in it. Lay it down this way. Get your yellow bottle of ink. Lay it next to it. Check it again. Don't assume a thing. Look at it, especially with some of the other very similar colors like the magentas, the cyans, and the grays. Do not assume anything. Make sure you double and triple check that you have the correct matching ink to the correct cartridge and not the other way around. Do not work in one just little confined cluttered area. Separate. Separate everything. Only have the cartridge that you're going to refill and the corresponding matching ink bottle that you're going to refill from in your actual work area. Once you get done with that, clip everything, close everything, move it to some other location, okay? Separate. Go over there and then grab your next cartridge, whatever color that is. Look for that corresponding matching color and bring it over here and then proceed to work after you double and triple check again. You will never have that problem if you are that careful, okay? So make sure you do that. And the simple problem that this person experienced could have easily been avoided had they just washed the clip before they attached it. Why not? 
wash it or just be really careful what clip you're actually attaching back to your very vulnerable yellow ink okay whatever color other than yellow you contaminate that ink cartridge with it will be readily visible it will not be one of these cartridges okay so keep that in mind and by the way do not ever buy compatible cartridges for the pro 10 they have sponges in them they're not supposed to have sponges in them the printer is designed to work with this cartridge only only you can refill these so easy it's just ridiculous why you would want to go some other cheaper easier route just buy the inks of your choice precision color signature edition is the best i have ever tested and just after resetting the chip with your red setter resetter that they will sell you as well drip fill this cartridge that's it no modifications are required when the cartridge weighs 32 grams you are done clip it back on with a nice clean clip not one contaminated with some other color put it in this position until you need to use it two sets is the best practice to have two sets of these and you know what i'm going to say next right with these when one of these cartridges reaches low you swap the whole complete set that's only applicable when you are refilling not oem you don't want to waste your oem inks you want to use them until they are at least low and then refill with your choice of ink as long as the inks are compatible you will not have a problem the yellow cartridge has to be replaced or flush okay so keep that in mind with these you can run them till they are declared empty okay no problem remove that whole set the empty one along with the other nine different level cartridges and top them off after you reset them and again you're going to put a brand new set refill that is on your printer and start from fresh again everything will be up to 100 percent level why not start that way instead of constantly changing cartridges okay all at different levels remember every time you change one or ten the printer will run a purge cycle it will use up some of the ink on all the cartridges okay so one that was marginally low will now be probably empty so again you're going to have to replace that one and the snowball continues to roll or the domino effect boom 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 so you don't want to do that whatever you have to do to collect two sets of cartridges that only applies remember this that only applies to the pro 10 and the pro 100 why because these cartridges can be reset to full so you can get away with this luxury okay the pro one you cannot you cannot reset those chips you have to replace one at a time yeah lucky for us because it's a stationary cartridge printer it doesn't run a purge cycle but the pro 10 and the pro 100 do so to minimize all of this ink being wasted every time you change one cartridge you're going to waste a little bit of ink from all the other cartridges involved yeah and that ink gets collected internally into that waste ink pad and you don't want to increase the rate of uh saturation okay once that becomes saturated that your printer is gone you have to get a new printer it costs too much to have it cleaned out and have new pads installed and everything reset to empty again it's just not worth it so utilize these practices to minimize the amount of ink wasted on a very simple thing such as exchanging a cartridge so just think about that do whatever you have to do to get two sets of these do whatever you have to do to get two sets of these just don't get any compatible cartridges okay they'll they'll be the end of your printer i guarantee you i speak from experience here so i'm not trying to bs anyone all right that is it i hope you enjoyed this very short video i'm not usually this quick trying to get a point across but I got to go eat dinner. So I got some burgers going. So that's the only reason. Yes, my friends, I do have to eat once in a while. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And until the next time, happy printing, happy refilling. Again, just do, again, just make sure you do the process correctly and everything will go perfectly for you. Bye-bye, everybody.